right straight into it gimbal covers we've got a couple here to have a look at today initially I thought they were all the same but they're not um, we've got the original one that comes with it it is fiddly every time you put it on and off it's just a pain and what annoys me is this little piece of foam now if you like me and you probably have you've gone out flying your gimbal's doing this and you're wondering what's going on I've left the foam in it again well for me that's just a bit too much so this is why we're having a look at these today. Now the first one we're going to have a look at is by a company called BRDRC. Now this is a generic one that I got on Amazon. Um, admittedly it wasn't much, it was £5. Um, that was on Prime the next day delivering. Now initially as I say when I went into this I really did think these were all the same. That's not entirely true. If we have a look at the protectors themselves these are very similar. This one's got obviously the forward facing sensor protection on the front. The banding on the middle there looks pretty much the same. Even down to the locking mechanism on the back, which is two tubes. So when you're fitting this one, I do find that you still need the foam. It is relatively easy to put on, to be fair. You unclick from the bottom, little pinch at the top, and it's, it's a lot easier than the, the original one, to be fair. So this could be for somebody out there that wants to upgrade just to protect. And if you've got a prop guard that covers the sensors at the bottom, it will fit around that as well. Now it does say dust proof, but if we have a look in here, you can see massive gaps there. Is it gonna be the end of the world? I don't really think so, to be honest. But um, it seems durable enough. It seems as good as the original, but just a little bit easier to actually fit. Now, number two we're going to have a look at here is Sunny Life. If you fly Mini 3s, Mini 2s, you're going to be very familiar with these. They are a cheaper brand. And they are all over the market, but the products are good. They can't knock them. Same as the generic one. They will certainly do the trick. The packaging in here, a little bit fancy, not by much. You do get an extra piece of cardboard. Standard plastic packaging. And the difference on this one you can see straight away. We've got the forward facing sensor cover and we've also got the gimbal arm protection as well. Now these are not too bad to fit. I did find these were a little bit easier if you flip them upside down. Oh, nearly forgot the sponge again. So if you just slip it in and follow the guide rail, it's as simple as that. No more foam, <laughs> which is a good thing. There is a gap at the bottom and it does look about the same as the other one. Size wise, I'll just put that in front of the camera. I don't know if you can see that too well. It's not strictly scientific, but I imagine you should be able to use a prop guard with the base sensors on there. Should fit on this like a dream. Now, the only downside of this that I didn't like, i get close to this, is it's a little bit tight there. So if you're not careful over time, you'll probably end up grazing the bottom of the drain. Is it a big deal? 10 quid? Nah, not really. Again, you've got holes in the side there. Or they say it's dust proof. So again, you might get a little bit of dust in there. Not the end of the world. A like and a subscription would be absolutely fantastic for the growth of the channel. Now, the last one we're gonna look at is by Star RC. Again, the packaging on this, it's pretty standard. Straight away, you can see it's a different design to these colors different now I do like this for a number of reasons if I'm honest and here's the first one the ease of use is great there's no faffing there's no messing about on the video it does show them dropping it at a height hitting the deck you've not just got the forward facing sensors you've also got the base sensors as well so for me I won't have to upgrade this prop guard so admittedly this one's 10 pounds and this one's 12 pounds but I'm not going to have to change the cover at the bottom and I still get all that protection as well again the color I think it looks nice it matches the drone pretty well it's not a hundred percent match but it's good enough I think it makes it look nice and tidy ease of use is just brilliant now I did notice in the bottom of this one you have got like a little slot here and that's for your gimbal you can see the base there when you put this on I'm hoping you can see that in there I've got a little head torch on at the moment it just sits forward and locks into place now I have seen online people are saying this gets stuck I've done this a multitude of times and to be fair 
I've not really had any issues with it. It might be just me. It might be the product somebody else has had, but no, that seems to be fine to me. If you've got a prop guard that covers these, I'd probably get one of these. They're a fiver. And if you're not worried about the foam, I think that's going to be one for you. If you're don't really want the foam in it and you just want to slip it straight on. Um, not really worried about the wear and tear, I'd definitely go for this one. It's £10, it's cheap. But if you want to spend the extra three quid and have your base sensors covered and your forward sensors covered and won't have to buy a new prop guard, then I would go for that one. For me, this is the one I'm actually going to keep. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.